Right, Shawnee, how you doing, buddy? I'm going well, Dr. Oz, how are you? Good. So we've got uh, Sean Tanner here, uh, the MD of uh, Pods Equity. He's got a bit of a foot problem, which we're going to go through uh, very shortly. Feeling hungry? I'm starving. So <laughs> eight o'clock last night was the last time I had some food. Yeah, just going to have a nice uh, coffee after this. Yeah, and since I couldn't uh, get with any good surgeons, so I thought I'd book him with you today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm the cheapest. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so we're at Kingsgrove Day Surgery, yeah. and let's pop that sock off and have a look. And what we're going for it. So, all out there, apologies for my gross looking feet. Okay, so Sean has a painful lump through here. Feels pretty firm. Um, we had an MRI taken um, to see if there was some form of soft tissue mass in there but um, I ignored the MRI and um, I'm just going through my own evaluation so what I said to Sean was that this lump is probably related to the Achilles tendon because the Achilles tendon starts at the calf comes down and then does a turn into here and connects into this bit so I'm going to lengthen his Achilles tendon I also discussed with Sean that there's probably associated plantar fasciitis with it. So as the plantar fascia comes, and it also inserts into there. So I'm going to release the plantar fascia and release the Achilles tendon. Um, I think he's in safe hands. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Yeah, buddy. Trust you absolutely. Personally. Been here before. My my name is amazing. And uh, then we might uh, do some intraoperative videoing. Like Are you feeling confident, Wish Sean? Like. I, I hope I see you all tomorrow. All right, buddy. We'll um, we'll see you in theatre, and I'll take some more shots. Espresso martini for flavour. Espresso martini, it is. Hello again, Sean. Let's just do it. When you're in, remember it's the left foot Oz. Yep. Not the right. The one with the sock. The one with the sock on, please. Yeah. Elaine, do you want to say hello? Hello. <coughs> Elaine was complimenting me on my um, cologne today. Mm. Well, yeah, it smells nice. I was told not to go for one, otherwise it might be fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are starting to feel woozy. It's uh, so normal. Dr. Chow Co. It is. And uh, how Maya. How many seconds do you think I'm actually going to be out? Hmm? How many seconds? Yeah, if you were betting that. No, I'm going to check the details first. Alright, I'll hurry up. Let's do the timer. She also has had a pint and a half. Mmm, is that all? <laughs> Has he had anything yet? Yeah. Oh, sure me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Is that why you're feeling yeah. good? <laughs> Tussle tunnel syndrome can be caused by a number of local factors. In Sean's case, it was caused by a space occupying lesion, specifically a ganglionic cyst. The MRI found that the cyst was originating from the mid facet of the subtalar joint uh, and had uh, been previously treated with corticosteroid injections and drainage. After the skin incision, you can visualize the flexor retinaculum. A linear incision was made through the retinaculum and you can just visualize the neurovascular bundle. Uh, my assistant retracted the bundle plantally and directly behind the tibial nerve, the ganglionic cyst was visualized. I was unable to uh, capture on video the cyst in its entirety, uh, but while excising the cyst and uh, its stalk, quite a lot of um, gelatinous fluid um, uh, leaked out into the space. Uh, you may just be able to visualize the break in the joint capsule overlying the area around uh, the mid facet of the subtalar joint. Uh, this was repaired by suture and then the flexor retinaculum uh, was repaired. After the excision, uh, I could not palpate that hard mass that was present uh, prior to the procedure. I'm estimating there was probably about two to three mils of uh, synovial fluid that, um, that came out of that, uh, that lesion. Uh, Sean was placed in a short cam walker um, it is now being uh, monitored by a colleague of mine in uh, Melbourne.